G'day guys, Jack here from Atherton 4x4. Just doing a quick virtual tour on our all new Orca RV. This here is the four berth, 15 foot. So what we're gonna do today is go around the van, show you a few features, give you a quick run through. Now, if you do have any questions, feel free to send us an email, comment on our Facebook page, or come on in. We have brochures galore and we can run you through the van. Alrighty, so starting at the front, you do have that nice long drawbar there for maneuverability. It is a full chassis as well. So that way it does run all the way from front to back and you do have recovery points at the rear as well. Do have your little stone guard there. Spare tire, these are all mud terrain alloy tires with alloy wheels. As you can see, plenty of storage. Just at the front here alone, you do have room for a generator. As you can see, so it makes nice room for it there. It's not out of the way. Pack it up. Ever cool 85 litre fridge freezer on its own fridge slide as well. So it just goes into the little pocket back here behind it. So that way it's all packed away nice and easily. We'll go inside in a moment and I'll show you all through there. Double glazed windows, all with their own blinds and fly screens as well. Super easy to use, lift them up, close them, lock them in. Do have a little door handle here as well with light up at night so that way you can find it a lot easier. You do have an electric step here, so just give me one moment. Push the button, out it comes, nice and easy. Awning there, it does come out 2.4 meters, so it gives you plenty of space to give you that bit of coverage. Full kit unit out here with your sink, hot water down below there as well. A couple of little drawers, somewhere for your all your cutlery, along with your pantry drawer. Put that away. Just at the end here, you do also have a bit of a chopping board. Courses a leg just to give you that extra stability. I've just opened this up. So you've got an extra bit of bench there at the end. Lift this up. Four burner stove or gas, nice and easy. Pack that away. Come around the back. That is obviously part of your full-size bed, which I will show you in a moment. Legs are down just to give you a bit of stability while you're on a bit of uneven ground. Rear window as well, again with fly screen and shades. So I'll just quickly stick the camera in there, give you a quick look. And of course I'll go inside in a moment and uh, show you as well. Like I said, I'm just gonna sneak under here. You do have those recovery points at the back as well. Two 110 litre blue poly tanks along with a 70 litre grey water tank. You do have three 100 amp batteries along with three solar panels along the roof. There is your Truma hot water system, your plug to plug into the mains, your two water fillers just out here on the outside. So that way you can top up your tanks. Like I said, two 110 litre tanks. So 220 litres of water in total. Like I said, you've got the pop top up there. So it gives you that bit more headroom as well. Come around the side here. Also have a Dometic air conditioning system, which I'll show you when we go inside. Plenty of storage in the Orca. So just through there, just your fridge on the other side. So you got three extra shelves of storage there. And here is where your gas goes. So two four and a half kilogram bottles just there. Jerry can holders at the front. Alrighty. We're just gonna go around to inside now. You do have the separate doors, so you can have your main door. Have your fly screen as well. 
All right. Just on the inside here to the left, you have your control panel with all your switches, your water tanks, your gray water tank and your isolator switch as well. Do have your stereo there, which is DVD player for your TV, USB, Bluetooth and CD and of course radio. There is an aerial already up on the roof. Just on the other side here, you have all your light switches, um, switch for your awning and also switch for your steps. Come on in, a little bit more storage in the front here. Nice countertops, really nice cupboards as well. Like I said, there's plenty of storage. They haven't left you behind there. They've had a good thought about that. Open up here, you do have your toilet shower combination. Fan up there on the roof just to let that steam out. Like I said, you do have that Truma hot water system. So on those cold days and when you've been out down there at the beach and you need a nice hot shower, you've got a fantastic system. Bunk bed up the top here, which you can raise to give you a bit of extra height when you are sitting on the couch. That is also comes out to be your second bunk. So plenty of room up there. Got your own window. Come around to the other side here. Again, more upper cabinets. More cabinets along the side here for your clothing or whatever. Sink on one side, just in there, and on the other side here you do have another two burners cooktop. So you've got six burners all together. There's your Dometic air conditioning system, full size bed at the back, nice and comfortable. Up on on, you do have a TV there as well. Like I said, it is hooked up to the aerial, so you can have a little bit of luxury while you are out camping. Bedside light along with USB and 12 volt on both sides. So that way each person charge that phone, whatever they need to do. Speakers in the roof to give you that sound system. I'm just going to turn that on to show you what it looks like, or sounds like, sorry. So all nice and easy to use. All your switches are in easy locations. Alrighty guys, that is